This video is to show reasons why contractors use the Trimble AutoBid sheet metal. One of the main reasons that contractors are using the software is that the digital takeoff is connected. That means there's no importing or exporting required. When a contractor pulls in a set of plans, he's able to simply identify what system he's working in, which will default to the water gauge that he requires or he can adjust it. He can identify if liner or wrap is required and identify what the size and shape of the duct is. Then by right clicking and just starting a new run of duct, as he's measuring along these runs, you'll notice that down in my audit trail, it's automatically giving me everything that I require. Another advantage of the software is that this will also speed up the takeoff because as you're measuring, it's automatically generating all of the fittings that are required for what you've taken off. As I'm measuring, when I make a 45 degree turn or a 90 degree turn, the software actually recognizes that fact and picks up those fittings for you. Or if you reach a point where the shape or size of the duct is changed, you're simply able to come over here and choose, in this case, round, identify that it's 12 inch, and then just keep on measuring along the length of duct. I'm going to stop at this point and go back and show you that automatically at this point it picked up that squared around transition that you required. As you're working here, if I right click and I tell it I want to branch from, again identifying the size and the shape that I require, when I branch off of that, it is going to automatically pick up the fitting, whether it be a tap or a spin in that is required automatically for you. The auto fitting generation can increase your speed dramatically. Another reason contractors use the software is that it will help increase your speed and accuracy with the pre-built assemblies that are part of the software and they are also completely customizable. When using assemblies, this will allow you to quickly take off common items such as a diffuser, grills, registers, equipment. In this case, I'm just going to count up some diffusers, but instead of just getting the diffuser, I want to choose an assembly. The assembly is going to give you the common grouping of items, in this case, the spin-in, the flex, the diffuser, the ties that you require automatically. It also will allow you to use different sizes. In this case, it's requesting what's the diameter of the throat and what's the size of the diffuser. So this one assembly can be a multitude of different sizes. That quickly, I've gotten those items taken off with everything I need. When you finish with your takeoff, you're then going to be able to run flexible reports. These reports can provide quick, detailed material lists for all the items that you've taken off. This is a fabrication summary report where it's breaking it out by the systems. It's identifying the duct and fittings length, weight, weight with waste, and the waste is always customizable. It's giving you your total material cost, your labor hours in the shop with cost, and your labor hours in field with the cost as well. In these reports, it will also give you the totals for the whole job as well. With the duct and fittings quantity report, this gives you a lot of detail right down to every run of duct and fitting, the sizes, the gauges, whether it's lined, the quantities, the lengths, and the poundages associated. There are different reports really depending on how detailed you need to get. There are also customizable bid summary reports to help you increase your accuracy on all of your bids. The bid summary or rapid report, as we call it, pulls in the total material cost on the job. It pulls in the total labor hours, both in the shop and in the field. And along the bottom has tabs for you to simply plug in any other costs associated with the job, such as any general administrative costs, 
your subcontractors, whether it be testing and balancing controls. It's also where you can put in your pricing for your equipment and your air distribution. You're able to identify a crew mix where it will calculate out an average hourly rate. All of these numbers feed into the main bid summary and that's where you see those actual average hourly rates are being applied and it's extending out and giving you your total dollars associated with labor. This is a checklist. It's all about bid day and it is about not forgetting anything. Again, your sub numbers are being pulled in, your general administrative, but it's also where you can apply markup, overhead, taxes, contingencies. There is even a bond calculator. A couple of other important facts about the Trimble AutoBid Sheet Metal software is that out of the box it comes pre-built with SMACNA standards. Those are customizable to fit your company and how your shop may do things. Also, we provide professional implementation, training, and support to get you started quickly using the software. To request a demo or learn more about Trimble MEP products, visit us at mep.trimble.com or find the right link for you in the description. Thanks for watching.